Welcome to Shop Saber Minutes. I'm Brandon Bombardo. One of the most common questions we get is rack and pinion or ball screw, which is better? The answer isn't always black and white as much as you might want it to be. At Shop Saber CNC, we use both technologies because each has an advantage depending on the application. So let's break it down. Let's start with rack and pinion. You've got a straight bar, the rack, with teeth on the surface. Then you have the pinion, a small gear that meshes with the rack. As the pinion turns, it drives the machine along the axis. Now there are two types of rack, straight and helical. Helical rack tends to be quieter due to the way the teeth engage, but both types deal with the same challenges, and that's backlash. Backlash is the tiny bit of play or looseness in the system. On a typical CNC machine, you need about three to five thousandths of an inch of play on each gear for smooth motion. If you tighten it too much, the gantry can bind. Leave it too loose and you'll start to see imperfections, especially on smaller or detailed cuts. It's not always noticeable at first, but once you get into precision part replication or cutting things that are hard plastics, phenolic, or even detailed MDF panels, that backlash will eventually show up. This is simply a technological limitation. Now let's talk ball screws. Ball screws use a precision screw and a ball nut filled with tiny ball bearings. These bearings circulate through the nut and apply constant pressure, which eliminates backlash. This built-in preload makes ball screws inherently more accurate. It's a technological advantage. And there are two main ways to implement it. You can either rotate the ball nut on a stationary screw, or you can rotate the screw with a stationary ball nut fixed. At Shop Saber, we use that second method on the short axes like the Z axis, and the first method on our longer axes like the Y axis. Thanks to the modern rotational ball nuts, ball screw systems now handle higher speeds without the risk of screw whip, making them more viable across larger machines. Thus, as things continue to advance, ball screw drives continue to make more sense in CNC automation. So how do we apply this at Shop Saber? On our tool grade machines like our Pro, IS, and ISA, it's ball screws, always. Precision is king there. But we still use rack and pinion on machines like our plasma tables, where the arc variability is gonna be greater than the backlash. And our entry level machines, where affordability is our focus. And when combined with our engineered drive systems, even rack and pinion machines can be accurate enough for the right job. It's also worth noting, Every shop saver machine uses a ball screw on the Z axis, much like you'll find across the industry. You'll also find smaller ball bearing technology in our linear guideways, but the majority of CNC automated equipment use this, but we'll save that for another episode. Hopefully this gives you a clear look at the strengths of both rack and pinion and ball screw systems, and why we use each, where it makes the most sense, and how this can be applied to your application. Again, when considering your purchase, you need to consider what your expectations are and determine whether you can sacrifice a little quality or if you need to upgrade to ensure long-term success. Thanks for watching Shop Saber Minutes. I'm Brandon Mabardo. We'll see you in the next video.